There's a lot of good things to say about the Peak Design 20 liter everyday backpack, but no one ever mentions the bad things straight up in all the reviews that I've seen so far. So after two years of using this, I'm going to tell you all the things I hate about the bag and all the things that I love about the bag so that you get a balanced review and see if this is in fact the right bag for you. What's up friends, it's Mike again and welcome back to another review where I find awesome things to simplify your life. So this review is meant to give you best of the both sides of the arguments so that you can see if this is actually the right fit for you. Most people only watch the first part of the video and start hating on it, but I'd really suggest you watch the whole thing to get the whole perspective. And full disclosure, this video isn't sponsored by anyone. Everything that's said in this video is my opinion only. And if this video has helped you in any way at all, remember to like and subscribe to support the channel. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing that I hate about this bag is that the straps are not comfortable. Although it has all these nifty features and all these supports, after 30 minutes of wearing it, the straps are really stiff and they actually dig into your shoulders and kind of pull your shoulders apart and that's where I felt the most pain. So if you're going to be using this the whole day, you better be using the sternum strap and the waist strap that comes with the bag to make it decently comfortable. But as you're wearing it, you can still feel that the straps are really stiff here and you know, the bag could have been perfect in terms of comfort, but that's the main complaint with it. And the second thing that really pisses me off is packing and unloading the bag. Whoa. So because of how this is designed there's just a lot of pockets and lots of zippers to go through because of the flexifold and how it's organized sometimes inside you really have to organize this well or else you're gonna have to be opening one side of the zipper and closing it and then opening this side of the zipper to get something on this side and then you're gonna have to get something in the middle as well so you're opening like four or five zippers and closing them it's really not that fun and you might be like oh man this guy just doesn't know how to use his bag no I'm not just saying this because I'm picky I'm saying this because there's better options out there so this is my other bag from low pro the pro tactic 2 and as you can see here there's only one zipper for everything and as I open it it reveals everything that's inside I just open this once and boom I'm on my way to do whatever else that I need to so I don't need to go through everything and try to plan thoroughly for my best setup kind of thing this is already laid up very easily for me to just put everything in quickly and really this is more of a preference because it took me two years of using this to kind of figure out what I really wanted and what worked best for my use so I'll take it with a grain of salt but that's how I feel about it and the third and final thing about the bag that I don't like is that it doesn't fit exactly the things that you want in it. And don't get me wrong, the flexibles are great. And what they're great for is for compartmentalizing things and organizing things and blocking things out. But in terms of protection, they're just okay. For the longest time, I've always just wanted to throw these in the bag and not worry about it without the case because this actually takes up a lot of space. But with the Peak Design, it really doesn't give me the confidence to do that. I just really couldn't find a compartment that actually fit these headphones in. And with the flexifolds, they're a bit too flexible so that when the bag moves with all the gear inside, I can feel like it being crushed and it doesn't feel that safe. And because of that, I always have to use the case while it's in the bag. But with the Low Pro, it has certain compartments that are really padded and I just throw it in and it's a dedicated spot for that. Nothing's gonna hit it, nothing's gonna juggle with it and it has quick access compartments as well. So that's what I really like about this bag. Okay, so that's just everything I hate about the bag. And now we're gonna go into why I love the bag. I've been using this for the past two years. I used it while I went on my US trip and lived in my car for two months. I use it while hiking, I use it while commuting. And if there's one thing I'd say about this bag, I would say that this bag is really, really well thought out and designed. So first of all, what you're gonna notice with this bag is that it just screams quality. I mean quality. The material is made out of 400D nylon. It's very rugged and very durable. I love how they even thought of putting a tougher material on the bottom because that's where you always put your bag on the floor. So it's really easy to just wipe off. And I've used this in the rain a lot and it's really that water resistant. Even though there's these openings on the sides here, rain doesn't usually get in because it falls off here and drips off. So it works really nice that way. And the other thing to note is that this bag has a lot of custom aluminum parts to it. It feels very premium and I can't find this on any other bag. And I've got to say, I'm really impressed with the nylon material, especially on the handles and these straps as well, because I use them a lot by pulling the bag and adjusting it to get it on and off for the quick access and also to take off the bag. And I do use the zippers a lot like this. <laughs> And over two years, it's still really functional, really smooth, and there's no sign of wear and tear. The only wear and tear that I see on this bag is on the bottom where you have these uh, back support things. And uh, you know what? This is kind of normal. I expect it. And I'm still quite amazed that this is the only thing kind of damaged. 
so there's no question that this bag is gonna last you a long long time and because of that I think it has great resale value because it still looks brand damn new since I got it two years ago and the second thing that I really like about this bag and it's kind of related to the first one is the design and the looks and the aesthetics and really how the bag makes you look and feel and I know you guys you have this question of how it looks on you well I'm 5'7 and when I wear the 20 liter bag it looks perfectly awesome because this is a very modern design and it's really compact I really like that about this bag it does not lose its shape you do not want a bag that loses its shape for example there's this other bag by Moshi and it looks really great really like minimalist and all but however if you can see on this side it actually kind of squishes and it's really bad because if you take out this camera compartment and if you fill things out with it it really like loses its shape and it becomes something like this when you wear it but that does not happen with the peak design it's very sturdy very compact and it looks good regardless of whatever you put inside that's just an example whoa my camera almost fell and in case if you didn't notice the back can stand on its own it's very nice like that but usually it can fall forwards or you can lean it backwards it works really well versus some bags only lean one way or the other so this bag was designed with photographers and content creators in mind and that's why you see all these like phalanges and all these little straps here and there because you can lug around a lot with it and you can attach it to the sides here and there but honestly in the past two years I've never used these straps ever and if you do comment below I'd love to know what you use them for because the thing is you can lug around tripods and even yoga mats but to be honest it's just too heavy for me but the cool thing is you can hide all that in all these pockets and because of that it doesn't look like a camera bag at all it looks like a normal everyday bag for the modern commuter traveler student whatever that you are and the last point is that everything you see on the outside of the bag serves a function while adding to the aesthetics of a bag in a good way which leads me to the last thing I love about this bag is its functionality so the first function that I really like is the mag latch right here. It serves two purposes. First, it gives you quick access to the top part right here, so you can grab anything inside very quickly. And it also serves as expandable storage because you can latch it onto different parts. This I find is really useful. It came in really handy in very unexpected times because when you go shopping or whatever, or when you go hiking, you can put your jacket in here and it will fit it and you don't have to hold on to it. So it surprised me in a few situations already and I really, really like this feature. The second thing is the quick access that it provides you on the side of the bag because when you're wearing it you can just quickly sling it over and then quickly open the side of the bag and get whatever that you need out and boom there you are and this might come as a surprise but the handles that you see right here this is very very useful because when I switch to another bag I always look for handles like this and when I can't find it I am very disappointed at the other bags because when you're in the car especially it's very useful to grab it at any direction and uh, the handles are very sturdy very substantial is the word I'm looking for they're very substantial and a very beefy and the last function that I love about the bag is the organization that it provides so this bag has a lot of pockets for you to just put it in anything and I think this is a good time to show you what's inside my bag so you can see what fits in it so when you open up the bag you can see that there is an extra pocket over here and it actually holds a lot of organization and has a lot of pockets but I wish this part was clear so that I could see what was inside because sometimes I have to open up both sides to kind of see what I have because I forget sometimes what I put in my bag when there's too many pockets but um yeah well I have my storage drive here pens my Apple mouse and from here I have my camera stuff the first being my camera over here a lens and then on the bottom here I have the flexible folded up and when I put it down I have another lens and that's what I meant before by it's really good at compartmentalizing from here you can also access the top compartment which I have my Bose headphones and usually I have my iPad and a notebook in here as well but as you can see here it's it's really hard to get to the other side of the bag so you gotta Set this back up, bring this part. I have my portable battery pack, my USB cables and accessories, and then I have my batteries on the side. And then I have my mouse over here from Logitech, and I think that's about it. Yep. And you have to zip it back up. And then in this slot, you can hold your laptop and all your little small things. I could put all these small things in here if I wanted to and they fit quite well. But otherwise, I would have my laptop in here. And the other thing is that, you see that there's this pouch over here for the straps. I usually put a wet naps box in here and tie it to the end of this so that when I need wet napkins, I just pull this out, boom, there it is. And if you're a water bottle or umbrella kind of person, you can stick them right on the side and it fits quite well and if you want to secure it that's where these straps come in really handy because you can strap it to one of these things on the side right here and then just pull on it boom it's 
secure. So you can do that with tripods and all that jazz. But really, this is a bag that you can fit almost anything in. But the more you put in, the more you sacrifice your comfort, especially <laughs> with these straps. So you know what? In conclusion, if you're gonna take this out for a long hike or be wearing it for a long time, I don't think it's gonna be the most comfortable bag for you. And if you're a person who packs and unpacks a lot, it's gonna be really frustrating. Other than that, I think it's a great commuter bag where you're taking it on and off for shorter periods. And it's very versatile for everyday use, giving you quick access to the things that you need on the spot. And the build quality is tough enough to hold its own so that you don't have to worry about it getting damaged or getting it dirty. It's really easy to clean. And again, it keeps this look really well. So in the end, what do you think of this bag? Let me know below if this can hold everything that you want to carry. And if you have any questions at all, because I literally respond to every one of my comments and I'd love to help you guys out. And in my next videos, I'll be reviewing these two bags as well. So make sure you like and subscribe and turn the bell on to get the latest updates. That's it for now and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!